Good morning. It's the Call Flow Radio Show, and you're on the air. So it is Monday the 13th, is that correct? Do I have the right day? Just like John, I'm a little bit um, hazy this morning on Monday with a clock change. I don't know really where I am or why I am and what this is all about. But we're going to try to figure that out together. So if you ha- um, this is your show. Um, we are your hometown radio station. If you have anything you'd like to talk about, just call us up at 334-394-0924. Oh, should I start over? <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, we should do you it. Just call oh, out my, my name, name and you know, know wherever I am, I'll come <laughs> right. Just to answer that I, phone. I don't know how long <laughs> we would have gotten away with that, actually. <laughs> oh, he sounded beautiful. Oh, yeah. Well, let's see. Let's see. Let's see here. Why am I not getting anything? Oh, there it is. Uh, didn't see the phone lines lighting up as they should have. They're lighting up like a Christmas tree. So let's see. What do we have here? We have um, today in history. Who, uh, you know. This is a little hard. Why is that? I don't know. It just doesn't seem to make a lot of sense to talk about history and stuff like that on a day that neither one of us are awake. You know, oh. you know coffee would be good. What is a Who, cup of coffee. Uh, a cup of coffee would be good about that. <laughs> Who's got a good coffee? Yeah. I, I'm not a coffee person, so I, I couldn't give you a great... I'm sorry. I can't work here anymore. <laughs> I cannot be your friend. <laughs> oh, don't get me wrong. I, I, I love caffeine and stuff. Oh, I well, drink soda okay. like it's going out of style. <laughs> we'll let you. We'll let you pass this time. But hey, I mean, why I drink, don't, I've had it, but I, I, I'm not one of these. I gotta have a my cup mm. of coffee type people. You just take it black, sugar. No, cream. no, I gotta have it sweetened yeah. and all that good stuff. You ever use any of those like carnation creameries that are all? Flavored? I probably probably have at one point, or, mm. but. I, Sugar, some cream, whatever the cream might be, that's fine. That flavored I'm, creamery just changed the whole game for me. I mean, okay, it was. It Is was, that how you take yours? Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. You know, I used. No, to I do, know people that can drink it straight black, but it, no, not me. I love this mocha mint thing that they do for Christmas, <laughs> <laughs> but they they stop doing it. Why? Oh, Why do they I stop? Don't know. You know, and then one will show up on the on the shelves. Like I went yesterday. I haven't seen it for a while, and there's one like munched up <laughs> thing of it, and it's so good I had to get it. Okay. You know. So anyway, uh, caramel. Car- caramel would be good. Whoever's going to bring it by. <laughs> <laughs> He's placing his order. No. <laughs> None for John. That's okay. Well, I'll, I'll take it. He can have mine. Okay. Today is Monday, March 13th, the 72nd day of 2023. There are 293 days left in the year. Is that all? Yeah, I know. It goes by like that. It is going by like that. We're We're halfway through March, dude. I know, it's crazy. Yeah, it is. In 1925, check this out, the Tennessee General Assembly approved a bill prohibiting the teaching of the theory of evolution. Wow. I guess... I have my own theory on that theory. The more things change, the more they remain the same. I I don't know. I just... I'm so up to hear about censorship. It just drives me crazy. It's, It's over... Overly done on this date in 1781, but we'd love to hear from the callers what they think about that at 434. I just want to know why it stopped is what I want to know. What stopped? Evolution. It didn't. It's still going on. I don't see it. <laughs> you know how I'm not many, witnessing it. Uh, you know how many years it takes to evolve into something? Although, Way longer than my life? Okay, then I'll, I'll give you... That, yeah. that that leeway. You could sign <laughs> <My> lifespan. <laughs> well, you, prove your point. <laughs> yeah. You could always just you know um, volunteer for an experiment. Nah, I'm good. No, it'll be good. I think you'd be good in in. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm and, old and can't think for myself anymore. <laughs> That's when I would do something like that. And John, you've got to quit doing those. 
trials. Oh. <laughs> He's great until he took that trial. Okay. 1781, the seventh planet of the solar system. You know which planet this is? The seventh? Yeah. No. It's Uranus. I bet it is. And it was just... <laughs> What's that supposed to be? Well, you know, Pluto's not a planet anymore. Anymore. <laughs> Yeah, this this just goes right well, I mean, into the whole. Uh, uh, you know. Am I lying in saying that you were taught that it's in school at one point? Absolutely, everything I was taught in school is not true anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. There's your evolution. <laughs> <laughs> I went for so long without. I don't know. It seemed like every day that something was coming up. I guess my point is, man can be wrong, and what we take as fact might not necessarily be fact as. Given our time frame of when that you know is going on, never have those words been said better. Uh, thank you. I, mean, I stumbled my way through you that. You did, pretty good. but you made it, and no, I was happy. Landed about on that. my feet. Thanks. <laughs> All right, 1862. President Abraham Lincoln signed a measure prohibiting Union military officers from returning fugitive slaves to their owner. Hmm? Well, I thought that was the whole point in the war. Signing a measure prohibiting Union military. I don't know. I don't either. I guess you had to bend there. Yeah, I guess so. My, I did talk to my son though yesterday, and um, I was telling him about uh, Appomattox, mm-hmm. the Civil War thing. Mm-hmm. He is excited to be here, so we're going to do that. You, oh, you haven't done it yet? But no. You're going to? Okay. How long would that take? I, mean, I have no idea. I, I don't know if it's a guided tour or mm. they just let you walk through. I, I, I wonder. I, I've been, but it's been so long ago. Uh-huh. I'm sure they've changed it up. Have you been to Arlington Cemetery? If I have, another instance of it's been so long. I've seen enough pictures and video of it to make me think maybe I have, yeah. but, I, but I don't think I actually have been to it. We made the mistake of taking our dog, and they don't allow dogs in there. so we Th- just That would to- be a mistake, yeah. We had to go to the side and look through the fence, you know. I felt almost criminal, but didn't get to see it all that much. I mean, right. you know, so it's something I think I would like to do. Yeah, you know, I did watch something. It, it, it's making me think of this. It's not. Don't do that. It, it's already hot enough in here. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a thing about Custard's Last Stand and how if you visit the battlefield, mm-hmm. that the graves that are laid out there for yeah. the soldiers is pretty much where they died. Oh, wow. That's why they're not – unlike Arlington where it looks all nice and neat and very precision. and Yeah, absolutely. Beautiful. These are sort of scattered hmm. along the field. There's, there's really? some in, like There's some in this section and then lower in the field there's some more. Yeah, I've never seen one done that hmm. way before. I guess it doesn't surprise me for Virginia. I mean, there's little, like, cemeteries all over the place. You know, I've never seen that anywhere else. I mean, Interesting. It was like the lake out there, um, Holiday Lake. Mm-hmm. Have you been out there? Not lately, but I have. It's yeah. a beautiful little lake. They've mm-hmm. really done a good job of that. And with the 4-H on the other side, that's um, really cool. Uh, what was the point I was making? I don't know. I, we got on Appomattox, and then we sort of just Civil drifted. War. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What do you tell? We never Then we drift. started talking about custard's last stand. That was my fault. What do you think about bananas? Um, no, it's there's there's a yes, there's we great no stones right next to the to the lake there. Mm. A couple of different areas. I find it strange. So all right, so you were about Civil War theme. Where where are we at now? Let's go to 1933. Mm-hmm. Banks in the U.S. begin to reopen after holiday declared by President Franklin D. Roosevelt. FDR. After a holiday, those are in quotes. Holiday. In 38, 1938, famed attorney Clarence S. Darrow dies. I don't know who he was, and Neither I apologize I. for that. I'm not um, making light of his. What did he do? I don't know. Oh. Shall we go to today in entertainment history? Today, well, Jeff Beck joined the Yardbirds. Uh-huh. That was quite the move. I mean, the Yardbirds just had so much talent in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, in love which, to have seen them play. And after he left, Jimmy Page or vice versa? I can't remember. Was it Page? I think it was Page because Zeppelin originally started out as the new Yardbirds. Okay. okay. And then they changed the name. Gotcha, I remember. 
Yeah, probably. I was thinking about Paige and Hendrix the other day. You know, everybody had that debate on who's Who the best better? guitar. And they're so different. They're Two different so guitars. Different. Yeah. I'd say Paige is more of a riff kind of guy. Well, Page was, he had those memorable riffs. He did, and Hendrix he was classically just, trained. Yeah, also. Hendrix is more of a kind of fly by the seat of your pants There's guitar player. Nobody like him ever. <laughs> he was amazing yeah. at his ability, not only to play, but to play and sing with the amount of energy he had. Mm. Uh, he's somebody I would love to see. Would you like to see Hendrix on a good day? On a good, okay. on a good performance, yes. Yeah. You mean well, he, he had bad performances? That's what some people say. Really? Why? <laughs> I guess he wasn't performing well. I don't know. Uh, maybe he smoked too much of the hey, Joe. other stuff. I don't know. We're not allowed to mention it. No. In 1947, on this day, the best years of our lives was named Best Picture at the Oscars. Who was in that? Jimmy Stewart. Oh, no, uh, Jimmy Stewart. Uh, uh, Murray, Murray. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> not true. I, uh, I wasn't in that picture. Uh, I didn't mean to disseminate false information. I apologize. Old Man Potter put me up to it. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking is that, um, <clears throat> that people are probably still asleep. They're thinking, mm. you know, because this is actually, it, what, 7 o'clock right now. Right. Whereas when I was on, it was really six o'clock, even I know. though it was seven o'clock. Do I need to reiterate how wrong this is and how tough it is? I mean, we're here supporting you because that's what we do. Yeah. You know, we, we come in, but it wasn't easy. It was <laughs> yeah, we might not get calls because of it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. You know, people just think it's the wrong hour right at the moment. Um, and I was thinking, uh, I wish I knew that the phones were working. You know how it is. Every once in a while, it's like, ah, oh, the phones aren't working. Looks Trial like they and are. error. Yes. Mostly error. Hey, in 65, Jeff Beck replaced Eric Clapton in what band? Hold on. The one you just mentioned. You're right. <laughs> so is Beck, not yeah. Paige. I think it we've looks got like a call we might time. have somebody uh, has something to say. Good morning. You're on the air. Good morning, Larry. How are you? I'm good. Yourself? Good. You two are so funny in the morning. You're definitely <laughs> waking people up. Well, that's good, I guess. <laughs> Thank you. You all, you all sound great together, working great together. I like it. Thank um, you. I have a quick question. Are you all going to be keeping up with the monthly weather stats at all? Well, seeing as how we are no longer uh, whatever we were, I, I can't give you the uh, technical definition of what we were, but we're no longer recording uh, the weather uh, stats. Uh, uh, we're not, uh, I think that was tied into when we had the FM and uh, some previous obligations that were put in place back in the day. We're no longer held to that standard. It's about the easiest way I can answer that. All right. I was just wondering, curious. Um, that's all. I know it breaks Larry's heart. <laughs> oh, Larry likes the weather stats, too? No, I don't think. I, don't know. I was just joking. I don't know. Yeah, don't believe anything you hear on this, <laughs> yeah, on this show. Don't take anything I say as fact. Okay, gotcha. All right, so we won't do that. But we really enjoy you, too. You got great chemistry together. Thank uh, you. As far as being on the radio. Very Thanks. sweet of you to say. Thank you. Have a great day. You guys have a great day. You, too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Checks in the I, mail. I love our callers. I, you know, I like her anyway. <laughs> Are you saying you've had callers no, that you didn't no, enjoy as much? No, no, no. I, I enjoy anybody that's going to help us kill time. <laughs> you know, I'm a, uh, I'm a technical guy. You know, I like yes, technical things. Yeah, Larry you know, is I'm, really trying to get this thing. Headed in the right direction. So far, what I've done is fail miserably. But, you know, well, it's, it's going to work itself out. Yeah. It will. It and will. I'm, yeah. So, let's see. Um, in 1971, the Allman Brothers recorded their Live at the Fillmore East in New York. Was this a real live album or like most 70s live albums? It was in, live in the studio, maybe. Well, that's what it looks like. <laughs> well, it, cause, and it's in quotes, too. It wasn't live just the 70s, the, but the 70s were known <laughs> for that sort of thing. 
All right. Let me, oh, Pink Floyd album, The Wall, reached platinum status in 1980. Okay. I was a, um, what, sophomore, junior? I was just starting school mm-hmm. in 80. I was in kindergarten, I think. You're a baby? Yeah. <laughs> You're a big baby. Yeah, now I am, yeah. <laughs> in 1987, Heat of the Night by Brian Adams became the first commercially released cassette single in the u.s aren't you excited about that in the heat of the night yeah you remember that song no in the heat oh i won't do it <laughs> did you say brian adams i did brian Adams. I, first i thought i thought you were talking about the tv show that was based off of the movie with Carol O'Connor. It, uh, it but, was the first heat of the night was the first commercially yeah. released cassette single in the U.S. I don't... I'd have to go back and listen to that. I don't recognize that. I'm trying to... Title. Do you remember buying cassettes? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe I quit then because I'd gone through the album and then eight tracks and then... Um, I, I was aware of what records were, but by the time I was old enough to ask or and or buy myself, it was cassettes. Mm. All righty, then. Ooh. Let's see... You can call 434-394-0924. Hello, caller. You're on the air. Well, good morning. Hey. How you doing today? Uh, hey. <laughs> um, oh, I have a comment. What's up? And um, let me go ahead. Uh, oh, okay. This is, I guess we know this is um, National um, Women's Month, International Women's Month. Right. It's not every month? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it every month? No, yeah, like, awesome. like I guess they gave them this month. And the um, <laughs> the crazy thing is, I was thinking about it, and um, it seems like um, to recognize women, they're given out awards. Mm-hmm. Okay. And it seems like a lot of the awards they're given out to men, men in dresses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's just the irony that um, women have um, struggled for so long to be a. Uh, I guess to take their place in the community. Now, once again, they have to um, tread over, um, step over men to try to uh, be at the top of their gender. Was this in a particular area, uh, like in the country? Well, or? like, um, we'll just say, like, like, I think last Wednesday, um, uh-huh. women were recognized at the, at the um, White House. So they gave a woman's the Courage Award to a man. Mm-hmm. Um, then they gave a... What was it? The uh, college level? They gave um, an award to that uh, swimmer. Oh uh, yeah, what was yeah, that kind of stuff. Right, right. Um, so I just needed to make a comment. It probably <laughs> it sounded better. I'm um, thinking about yeah. it than I'm um, speaking about it. That's okay. Uh, I understand the controversy there, you know, and giving men awards for the courage to be a woman. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. Well, <laughs> I guess it's not um, <laughs> um, I'm woman here be roar anymore. It's I am a uh, man in a dress. <laughs> Do you have roar. any dresses yourself? You um, no, but you know what's crazy? <laughs> um, <laughs> you know how uh, years ago guys would go to um, Halloween parties? Uh-huh. Yes. And they would be dressed as women. Yes. And I guess nobody yeah. thought of it. Just It was just kind of something quirky. So, right, yeah, that's how it was considered. I had a friend who went yeah. as a as a French maid, and he couldn't leave himself alone. Well, they had Spirit Week when I was in high school, and there was a day for that. For what? Yeah. To dress like a girl. Oh. I didn't partake, but it... it, it they, Why not? Gee, I wonder. Now kind of, yeah, now it's just whatever. <laughs> You know, yeah, every I think every guy. I'm like Larry. A, I'm not into that sort of thing. Every guy should put a dress on <laughs> uh, at some point in time. Uh, we don't know what happens when your doors are closed. <laughs> <laughs> you are so lucky. I'm a good spirited man. <laughs> You're lucky we're on the radio too. Oh, oh. lordy! But yeah, it, it's um, odd, and I understand what you're saying. It, but uh, I mean, they're not putting. Um, there's no restrictions anymore on anything. It's just yeah. flood, no, floodgates even, are open. I'm I think of, a year or two ago, um, even one graced um, the cover of um, uh, Sports Illustrated swimsuit. Mm. I mean, how'd you like to be a kid and you and you walk out of your bedroom and your dad sees you with the Sports Illustrated and goes, "You know that's full of man." 
And you're like, yeah. Well, I'm I'm kind of under the impression that if you're not hurting anybody, do what you want. You know, as, yeah. as soon as you start trying to tell somebody this is the way it is, or try to get them to do something they don't want to. But then use discretion nice too. I mean, there, 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 there's a point though. Also, yeah, you can fully make out in front of people in public, but is it the wisest thing to do? Mm. Interesting. Yeah, that type of thing. Yeah. Common yeah, sense, yeah, the yeah, thing yeah. that's not so common anymore. Common sense. Just, yeah. you, you know, I, I, I get it. Pe- there's people that want to do what they want to do whenever they want to do it and not have to answer for it. Unfortunately, you do. We answer for everything. We, If you speed and get caught, you get a ticket. Or, or whatever, you know. I mean, you, there, there's always someone judging you, and you're always going to answer to somebody. I don't care what it is, and so to pretend like, well, I want to live a life without any restriction. Well, good luck with that, because it's not going to happen in this life. So, um, oh, I, I, and I'm not talking to you, sir. I'm, I'm just speaking out loud. <laughs> Yeah. I'm, I'm actually doing a little bit of a survey, um, and we're trying to find out, are you listening to the AM or the um, stream? No, um, AM. I'm an AM guy. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm always under the impression, too, that, that they have these months, you know, for women, for, you know, green people or whatever. And it just seems ridiculous to me National that, they, Hope Day? that they do that. Why do why do they make like people like that's the only time they're worthy of this stuff? When you know, and I get it. I get, it's they're trying to honor these yeah, groups and these people. I don't know. Hmm? I, I, it's an award for existing. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I don't get it, but I, I can oh. understand if you actually accomplish something. I, but, but at the mm-hmm. same. But I don't. I don't know. I'm a little. I shouldn't talk. <laughs> I should just keep oh, quiet. Lord. I've been telling you that forever, <laughs> dude. I mean, just don't talk. No. I don't, yeah, in radio, just learn not to talk. And uh, but not. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying, and not. I'm I'm on the same side of the fence, I guess, on that sort of thing. But I mean, to each his own. Whatever. I mean, if it makes people feel better, whatever. I guess. But at the same time, I do get the irony of it's a an award met for a certain person and I, yet we're including <laughs> others that maybe don't I don't shouldn't be I don't know <laughs> don't, I don't know how to I don't yeah. know how to do the PC language I'm, you're, I'm, you're I'm very non PC oh. <laughs> well, you have to be careful because you represent a, a yeah, station. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So I, just, yeah, so I, blow out here. I have to walk the fine line here like Johnny Cash. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but here's something um, I've been pondering for a while. Okay. And um, actually, I, um, end of last year, we went on a, um, a trip and uh, we flew. And I've been curious as to, um, in fact, I asked the pilot, um, if you were to take off at the airport and go east and then go west, would you get to maybe circle the world? Would you get that um, get as soon get there sooner if you went with or against the rotation of the Earth? You would assume like, if you went with I it, but know. it depends on which direction the the winds are. Christopher Reeve well, could have say, answered this and, when he uh, went around the, gl- the world in Superman One and turned back time by going <laughs> against the grain. Well, that's true. We're just saying in a perfect world where there was no, you weren't going with or against the storm or a wind or... You think going... You, it seems like you'd get there fast as going the direction, but now it depends on where it's actually at. True. Yeah, could you, yeah, could you almost go straight up and then come back down and you're... Well, <laughs> I you used to go I, to I, China. I, I, go ahead. And uh-huh. we'd always go over the pole. I mean, we didn't. Okay. We didn't take. So it gets a little strange. I, I think. hate to bring up Superman again, but in a, <laughs> in a Superman comic book, this taught me this: what he's talking about. Superman, instead of just flying across the, you know, like they would do in the movies or, or TV show, showing him flying just straight across, he actually goes up, straight up over top of the Earth. So he and then dives down to where he wants to go, mm-hmm. and it made it seem quicker okay. than if he just 
like a car or something. You just you know go a one direction and and go the long way. You know, so are you trying to base reality on what I Superman? I base everything <laughs> on Superman. Okay, is Superman or John Wayne? Man, it's <laughs> uh, it's, it's terrible though. That explains his, my politics. I guess when his Superman has a John Wayne accent, then it's just a, a crazy time. This looks like a job for Superman. Yeah. <clears throat> I can't believe they gave it to a um, was he an Englishman, the new Superman? He, uh, oh, Henry Cavill. Well, he's no longer oh Superman. Oh my god! Yeah, but he's not. He's not. He's out. They have. They're going to replace him with who? I do not know. Oh. So. Some things are just tradition. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Um, we got to go. We're supposed to be doing yeah, birthdays I, right I, now. Oh, oh yes. Sir. And um, so. Thank you again for calling. We really do appreciate you calling in. Thought-provoking question about the uh, flying thing. I I never gave that much thought. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't. I'm I'm not trying to be funny. You too. Take care. (laughs) Bye-bye. No, I never gave that much thought, but it makes sense. He calls almost every day or or occasionally. Hey, some some shows have the regulars. Absolutely. Nothing wrong with that. Let's see. Where are we right now? You said birthdays. We are. What do we do first, though? I think we should do the Bank of Charlotte first. Okay. And what do they sponsor? Well, this edition of The Weather Uh is brought to you by the Bank of Charlotte County. There we go. Hello, I'm Stuart Wilborn, manager of the Bank of Charlotte County Loan Office in downtown Farmville. With over 30 years of banking experience, I'm here to help you finance your commercial, agricultural, or personal project. Give us a call at 391-1136 or stop by our downtown office at 216 North Main Street, where you'll find old school personal assistance with attention to detail. The Bank of Charlotte County, giving you more for your banking needs. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. The Bank of Charlotte County, with branch locations in Phoenix, Charlotte Courthouse, Bruneal, and their loan office in downtown Farm. I'm going to take a guess and say that was Brooke Neal. Let's see. It was. Ah, uh, it's birthday time. Woo-hoo. It's kind of, it would, oh, I don't know. I was just thinking if your birthday was on, you know, Daylight Savings Day, do you lose, you know, an hour of your Birthday is not fair to anybody. True. I hadn't mm-hmm. thought of that either. What other birthdays Everybody's we thinking have? ahead of the curve today. All right. So for today, March 13th, Monday, happy birthday going out to Mackenzie Lee Bowling, Ted Van Zant, and Willa Joe Die. And that is the birthdays for today. Hmm. Is it being brought to us by somebody? It looks like. Or is that just a... Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'll I thought I had this stuff laid there. out for you. Maybe I didn't. No, no, I oh. picked it up. I'm oh. sorry. The birthday calendar is brought to you by the Terry Atkins Wilson PC. The law office of Terry Atkins Wilson PC is located at 117 North Main Street in downtown Farmville. With deep roots in Farmville and our surrounding communities, Terry and her legal staff specialize in real estate law, wills and trusts, business formations and collections. Experience and professionalism are extended to every customer in every case. The needs and concerns of every customer are their primary focus. If you have legal needs, contact the law office of Terry Atkins Wilson PC for a consultation at 434 392 Two, two. For the right legal advice, visit Terry Atkins, Wilson, PC, Main Street, Farmville. Our weather isn't changing a lot real fast, but it is changing. It looks like the temperature right now is... You mean it's not staying the same? It, it's 37. Oh, okay. It was 36 when we started. You sure. know, I just wanted to get people prepared for that. Um, the humidity is 98%. Wind is calm, and it's 29.89 inches of the barometer. Looking outside, it's still gray and hazy, but... Um, it's supposed to clear a little bit today, but it's going to stay mostly cloudy with a high of 53. Tonight, it'll be decreasing clouds with a low of 29. That is mm. cold, cold. Mm-hmm. You know what that means? When we get up in the morning, we may have to do a little frost off the cars. And yeah. yeah. So Tuesday, it's going to be breezy, sunny and breezy. Uh, <laughs> 
with winds up to 14 to 22 miles an hour and then gusts up to 37. So that is pretty – that's pretty windy. You got a kite? Cape? Yeah. A kite. No oh, cape. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no kite. I already knew you had a cape. You're always yeah. flying around here like super dude. No, no, no kite. <laughs> so Tuesday night is going to be clear with a low of 26. It's just getting colder and colder. On Wednesday night, it's going to be 24. Oh, my. Wednesday during the day will be sunny. The same on Thursday with highs – um, 54 and 61, respectively. Thursday night, it will be partly cloudy with a low of 41. I like that a lot better. So we're looking forward to yeah. Thursday night. And then on Friday, it's going to be mostly sunny with a chance of showers later on in the day. And the high will be 66 degrees. Mm-hmm. I think I brought or uh, found a few um, celebrity birthdays. What do you think about that? Give it a shot. Hmm. The 13th jazz drummer, Roy Haynes, is 98. Mm -hmm. Holy moly. Did you see that article where the oldest person alive passed away? Was it 125 or 128? I don't remember. Maybe 128. I don't remember now. That's amazing. Uh, It's getting closer and closer. It seems like there's a milestone because of the Kurzweiler book that he predicted years ago that the first person to reach 150. It has already been born, which, you know, that kind of makes sense. Um, I don't think it's all that profound (laughs) of something. But then I saw an article the other day that says that scientists were looking at how old a person could actually be. And I never did find out. They never kind of said in there. But Hmm. I'd be very interested if – what the upper end is going to be. And then, you know what, once they learn that, a couple years later, they're going to tell us that was wrong. So, you know, just like everything else. Yeah, eggs are good for you. Eggs are bad for you. Coffee's good for you. Coffee's bad for you. And then they switch it back around again. Which is it now? I, I've stopped paying attention. Ah, bummer. I kind of like my coffee. Hey, Neil Sadak, you remember him? Sadaker? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Sadak. Yeah, I know, I, yeah. He is 84 today. Cool. Yeah. Do you know who Candy Staten is? She's not related to me. That's not what it says here. (laughs) (laughs) Is it it Stanton or Staten? It's Staten. S-T-A-T-O-N. That's the way we spell it. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe, maybe. Who is she? um, The name does sound familiar. She's just a singer. Just a singer. I might have to look that up unless somebody on the, um, on out there calls us at 434-394-0924. To let us know I've heard that who name Candy before. Staten is. You're going to find out she's like your great grandmother or something. <laughs> <laughs> How old is she? Whoa, I lost my mouse. Hmm. Okay. Ah, I'm right here. <laughs> you could, uh, yeah, we could have lived a long time without ever hearing that again. Um, jazz trumpeter Terrence Blanchard <laughs> is 61. <clears throat> I loved playing in those big old. Big bands, jazz bands, oh, so much fun. Just so much power. Uh, sorry, I'm growling. Uh. Came Tim <laughs> Allen all of a sudden. <laughs> uh, uh, band is good. Uh. I like Tim Allen. He had some political views that I didn't agree with, but he was a funny Meaning cat. I agreed with everything he Yes, he exactly. Okay. <laughs> hey, rapper <laughs> Cujo of Goody Mob. I thought that was a dog that went on a killing spree. Really? It sounded like bubblegum to me. (laughs) Goody Mob. I meant the name Cujo. There you go. (laughs) Wasn't that like a killer dog in a movie? Yeah, I never watched that one. Neither have I. Or the one with the rats. The one with the thousands of rats. Uh, Oh, I don't know how they did that. I don't like my rats. Do you like snakes? Not a huge fan, no. Yeah? No. Mm. I never was either. Right? You know, I right. just uh, never thought about it really all that much. And when I was a kid, I had a little garden snake go around my wrist and squeeze it really hard and, you know, freak me out a little bit. So kind of had a little negativity. They can have their space and on I'll, the snake. And I'll have mine, and that's how I yeah? tend to live with the snakes. Well, me and my son, I mean, one of the things we did with my son was, you know, teach him through practical experience. So we went to a... Um, reptile show up in Sacramento one time and I found this small snake it's a uh, boa um, a, a boa constrictor no it's not a boa constrictor 
Sure. It is a. Um, like they're not known for being small. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't believe I can't remember. But I love this snake. This snake just turned out to be the sweetest thing. I, I, it just blew my mind. I mean, you carry her around, she, you know, kind of crawl around you and stuff. And she's very curious. Uh, that's what I thought was cool. She was very curious about everything. Mm-hmm. So that's my story. And I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Singer Glenn Lewis is 46 today. All right. That's birthday. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. National Day. You'll love these, I'm, sh- I'm sure. I live for them. It is National Jewel Day. The singer or the actual? The actual jewels ah. that you are wearing at this moment in time. Yeah. yeah. What am I, Mr. T? <laughs> Well, you did sound like him earlier. Uh, yeah, I was yeah. doing the middle of the yeah, so there, he is. Yeah. there he is. You never know who's going to show up to the studio. As long as they were like in the time frame of when I was actually watching stuff. <laughs> yeah. Anything new, I can't do. Because ah. I don't have any knowledge of it. That's a good point. It's like someone mm. says, D- do this actor. At who? Okay, uh, I'll bring in some clips and stuff. And we'll, okay. get you, we'll get you going. Um, you can be Phoebe. Who is Phoebe? On Friends. Another show I did not watch. <laughs> and that oh, was in my timeline, though. But I, I want to see it. you do, Phoebe. Yeah. No, this good. is what we're doing. I'm good. Um, if you've got something to talk about out there, please give us a call. We're just kind of messing around here um, on this first day of, is it, um, uh, oh, no, my brain just, see, <laughs> it happened Are you thinking it's the first of March? No, Daylight Savings Time. <laughs> yeah. Is this the first Day of daylight savings time. First day technically off it was of yesterday, it. I guess. Is it actually going into daylight savings time? I think it is. Oh, that I I, can, I don't know. I just know it's convoluted. We'll just be perpetually confused. I just know that it doesn't make any sense. We ought to just stick with one and leave it. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. Either, I totally either keep you, it the way it is now or the so way it was. You heard that they were trying to change it here in Virginia, right? I, I thought it was world, well, not worldwide, but I thought it was nationwide. No. You're telling me it was just here in Virginia. Well, they do have those. But, yeah, in Virginia, they were trying to change the clocks to stay one way or the other. Okay. <clears throat> but it um, didn't pass. And I think everybody on the council wanted to. Mm-hmm. But the biggest concern was that everybody around us goes on to the time and it would just be confusion for everything, doing business with everyone. And this is, I think, what keeps it going. That's anyway. why I think as a nation we should stick with I one. agree with that. When I was just thinking about it, I was thinking, all right, we're right next to Washington, D.C., you know, how people live yeah. right next to each of Eastern those. Eastern time zone con- is <laughs> New York. It's it's a lot of these major yeah. places. So, yeah. so I, But – but on the other side of the coin, I think we should be original. I think we should go ahead with our hearts and, um, you know, keep the clocks the same. Please, people. <laughs> All right. It's National Canine Veterans Day. That's a good thing to have. Mm-hmm. It's got a picture of a Canine. German Shepherd on here. German Do you Shepherd. have any pets? Not anymore. We used to have German Shepherds. Really? Oh, yeah. I, uh, my son wants a German Shepherd. He thinks they're nice the dogs. best Good dogs. Dog. They could be very, very violent if you teach them to do that. Well, yeah. Well, any dog can. can yeah, I that's guess. true. I mean, even those little dogs that are like nipping at your heels act very violent. <laughs> <laughs> they're not really. They're, they're more bark than bite. But. Yeah, it's so sad. I mean, we have the cutest little Norwich Terry. No, it's not Norwich. It's a, um, it's a something. It's a Westminster Abbey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Terrier. So cute. But yeah, if you want to ring the doorbell, he's just going to go ape shit. Oh, excuse me. Um, it's National Coconut Day. Co- no, wait. National Coconut Tort Day. I, are you a fan of the coconut? I am not a fan of the coconut. Well, at least the shaved coconut. Uh, with- yeah, coconut in, in uh, small doses. I, I'm like a pina colada. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like coconut cake. Yeah, exactly. This is My coconut dad cake. likes that stuff, but I'm, mm-hmm. I'm not a huge fan of it. You ever just get uh, coconut like right out of the, right out of the shell? No, I have not oh, done that. So good. So good. We were in Hawaii and these little stands everywhere. And they just like crack it open, cut it out. 
Yummy. Um, it's National Good Samaritan Day. So that this, should be every day. I agree with that, but it's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> you know, it, it recognizes the unselfish actions of those who provide help when needed. The day is also known as Good Samaritan Involvement Day and celebrates kindness in all its forms. Well, I like that. I like that very much. Okay. National Open an Umbrella Indoors Day. <laughs> I thought that was like... Uh some sort of like walking under a ladder. You're not supposed to do that. Mm, maybe. It's unlucky. Oh, or opening an umbrella. Uh, yeah. Maybe that's think, what this is all about. I think it falls in that category. It's, it's um, disseminating the um, I don't know what falseness it, of that. Yeah, maybe. Science experiment. National Open an Umbrella Indoors Day on March 13th <laughs> annually is a national science experiment of sorts. Open an umbrella indoors and pay attention to whether or not you suffer <laughs> any bad luck. <laughs> That's my You're right. One often wonders how superstitions pass from one generation to the next. Just like anything else. You know, usually it's something that affects the community, right? Word of mouth, I mean. One such old superstition says that opening your umbrella indoors will bring you bad luck. The day encourages you to test the superstition and know if you had any back, bad luck comes your way. While you're at it, document the kinds of bad luck. Perhaps it isn't bad luck. It may just be happenstance. Things that will have happened whether you open the umbrella or not. How about National Earmuff Day? I think we're losing John here. His his eyes have glassed over. <laughs> we wear earmuffs every day. Yeah, good point. I don't even know. Got them on right now. All right. Ooh. Now this is the last one. National Napping Day. I, oh, I, should, now there's one I can get behind. <laughs> I love a nap. A day after returning to daylight savings time. Yes, that's our... Uh, that's our ticket. So, you know what last night was, right? It was some award show of some kind. Yeah, I don't remember what it was. <laughs> I wish I could. So uh, everything, everywhere, all, all at once is that the big one wins best picture um, at the Oscars. All I know is that some of the stories I looked at was amusing to me because Hollywood is very one-sided politically and <clears throat> mostly. And, and what I found hilarious was one of the stories was how uh, Jamie Lee Curtis won an award for – whatever film sh she was in uh, here l recently, and that one of the other nominees must have made some sort of face yeah. or had a negative reaction to her winning. Imagine that. And I'm, and what's, but what's funny is, you know, Jamie Lee Curtis is one of these political types that, you know, I find, that, I find it interesting. She's, if you want to call it, you know, she, she supports – a lot of things that this person that was making the, whatever reaction she had would probably side with. And I just find it funny that, you know, you can do all that stuff side with this political stuff and all that, but it doesn't win you any points when it comes to competition in mm. the business. I thought you were going to say you can do all that, but you can't slap anybody. That didn't go on as far as I'm aware. <laughs> Yeah, I think Kimmel hosted this thing. Uh, it's the third time that he he hosted and the he, show. I think he made a crack about that. Oh, did he? I, I wouldn't be surprised. I didn't hear it because I didn't watch it. I'm, like I said, I, I saw news headlines about it last night or this morning. I'm not even sure what kind of film this is. Although it says everything, everywhere, all at once, triumphed with a much different immigrant experience than The Godfather. They're sort of com I don't know why they're making that um, comparison, but it says it's a centric tale about a Chinese immigrant family. Just the second feature by the Daniels as the filmmaker duo is known. I... It's science fiction with alternate realities. I really like that. I, I like Sci-fi? I do. I love sci-fi. I love alternate universes. And, um, and he cracks on me about liking Superman. <laughs> <laughs> but 
Mine are based in uh, science, though. You know, the whole black Actual hole Actual science? Yeah. Wormhole stuff, you know. Mm. I'll take you out for a little ride on a wormhole. That didn't sound right. Um, we'll go time travel, and then, then, then I'll. Oh, time travel, yeah. Right. That, that's... It is still early. I am, reality, isn't it? I'm an hour before I'm supposed to be, so please be okay. patient with me. It's okay. Love me all you'll, the same. You'll muddle through somehow. <laughs> that sounded like my mom. <laughs> it, it did. Like She's like, oh, you always muddle through. You always end up on your feet. I love my mom. She's awesome. But, mm, you know, she knew what was best for everybody, always. Moms usually do. Yeah, she, she did. Yeah. So Brendan Fraser wins Best Actor Oscar for The Whale. That's where you got all heavy. Yeah, I mean... I wouldn't do that if I was an actor. I would just say CGI me up and... You know, that's that's an option got, these days, right? Yeah, it really you is. gain all that weight because you got to lose it again. Yeah. But you want to stay that way. And I don't know. I wonder how that's affected But it's him. funny to me that people that go out of their way to do that, change their look, change their appearance... Those are the ones that seem to get these awards. Oh, yeah. It's like it doesn't matter if the movie's all that good. It doesn't matter if their acting is all that good. But if they punish themselves enough to look the part, <laughs> they'll reward you with this, you know. No, I, I think you might have something. I think you do get more points for yeah. um, torturing it yourself. It seems like it. I mean, I, maybe I'm yeah. wrong, but it seems like it. I like Brendan Fraser. He's a very calm kind of presence. And, you know, I don't remember him ever playing like a mean role. I, I don't know what the whale is, but I maybe somebody either. in our audience could call us up 434-394-0924 and let us know um, what the whale was about. You know, I would like to know. I want to see that movie. And I want to see it mostly for Brendan Fraser. Right. Just because there's been so much hype about what he had to do to do this. Mm -hmm. I I admire him, but I agree. It would be hard to do that and justify destroying my body because you never get that bad. Well, these people do because they have, you know... uh personal uh, trainers and whatnot. And sure, he can lose it, but yeah. I mean, once you've stretched your skin out that much, I think it's hard to get it looking normal again. Hence why I would have it CGI'd. <laughs> <laughs> or prosthetics, like uh, who was it in that Batman movie that came out not too long ago uh, who played the Penguin? He's not heavy set, but they made him up to look very different than what he really does look like and added weight and all this. But it was all done with, you know, makeup and when, prosthetics. Uh, when was that? I, uh, I'm, the Batman. I didn't go see it. It's called The Batman. When the did it Batman, come out? Like a couple of years ago. Yeah. I kind of quit watching them. It's like, oh, please, I did too. I, I, please, you, director's producer, quit making was, Batman whoever movies. Whoever Batman was, please. was the guy in those Twilight movies that played the vampire. Oh, really? could go out in the daytime. Yeah. Mm, yeah, Alicia likes him. Yeah. Roshan refers to him as Cro Magnon Man. He, really? yeah. he, I, I guess his face structure bothers him. Or really? <laughs> I don't know. I wonder what he thinks about me. Uh-huh. Huh. We'll ask him. He's here. <laughs> All right. In, oh, in 1996, Mississippi lawmakers rescinded a commendation to Glenn Ballard, who produced Alice. Alanis Morissette's Jagged Little Pill album. Mm-hmm. Some of the legislatures were offended by the lyrics of the song You Oughta Know. Once again, let's just stomp all over, you know, censorship. I mean, let's just censor everything because we can't not deal with it. Do you know who was behind the uh, putting on the censorship things on the CDs and the records back in the day? Um, it was... Uh, I'm going to test your knowledge here. I know you, what you're going to say. You're going to make this political, and I'm mm-hmm. going to say no. You, and, and, you cannot prove that. On, you a, on, a, on, on, purpose, <laughs> on purpose as well. It was Tipper Gore. Oh, really? Married to Al really? Gore. Oh, yeah, yeah, your boy. <laughs> <laughs> My boy. Uh, hey, I like Al. I, 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 I like Al. Yeah. Right. Go ahead. I'm just messing <laughs> with you. Oh, my. Oh, my. All right. Also, in 1996, angry fans started a riot in Buenos Aires, Argentina, Mm. after waiting all night for the Ramones tickets. Wow. Those Ramones were hot. 
down there. <laughs> Must have been. <laughs> <laughs> in Argentina. You never know where you're going to pop up. You know? I always wondered if I could, you know, maybe be a rock star in Japan or something else since it didn't well, work Hasselhoff out Well, Hasselhoff was a big deal out in wherever he was at. Uh, some country some country loves him to death. Oh, yeah. I don't yeah, remember yeah. which one it was. He's now. not the only one. There yeah. are other, you yeah. know, they, they make it People huge. that were only like TV stars here are like music <laughs> stars in other countries. Right, right. <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't mind. In 2006, we have a couple minutes, so if anybody wants to call in and let us know what's what's going on, uh, we'd appreciate it. That is 434-394-0924. Uh, you'd think I have this memorized by now, right? I don't have to. It's don't just feel, habit looking at the don't wall. Don't feel bad. I'm, I'm not that okay. way with numbers either. All right. In 2006, Blondie refused to allow former guitarist Frank Infante and bassist Nigel Harrison to perform with them during their induction into the Rock Hall of Fame. That sort of thing happens more often than not. Ah, they had unsuccessfully sued Blondie in 1999 when the band reformed without them. Game that would talk. suck, wouldn't it? I mean, you're like, oh, I'm a big star. I'm a big star. I'm no longer a big star. <laughs> well, Fogarty didn't play with the other members of Creedence when they were inducted. Hmm? Bad blood. It, it happens a lot. It does seem to, doesn't it? Hmm. All right. We went through the birthdays for today. It looks like we're just about out of time. I want to make sure you've got what you need up here. Oh, don't worry about it. I'll... I'll f- I'll figure it out. There it is. I uh, uh, helped you out. Oh, thank um, you. We didn't do any community calendars. That will be next hour. Yeah. At yeah. the bottom of the I'll, hour. I'll be reading that for you. And you will get the... It's me um, this hour, and then it's you the hour after that, right? All right. You want me to kick off your hour? Yeah, whenever it's time to go. Well, you know... How much time do we have? Is it time of the hour? 34. <laughs> You're counting it down. <laughs> hey, T minus 10. Dude, Nine. it's been rough. I do not <laughs> like this hour ahead thing. It's wrong. It's wrong, 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 wrong. I, I figured more people would call in about that. But <laughs> I guess they've either adjusted to it or. Uh, no, they're still in bed. Unfortunately, I can't see the timer, so I can't. They're still in bed. They're sleeping. Cause <laughs> I don't blame them. All right, here we go. Oops. WFLO AM 870, Farmville. 